Welcome to the grand finale of Taskmaster Australia Season 2. This is the final episode of the series and I am the final man. When I perish, so will every other human being on this planet. Because I am the Taskmaster. Tonight, we will see our contestants attempt their final set of tasks, and by the end of this show, we will have a series champion, for which they will receive this, a chocolate-filled gold foil wrapped statue of my glorious head. <laughs> this is my tenth time introducing them, and I'm almost sick of it, but let's do it once again for good measure. Our contestants are Anne Edmonds. <laughs> Jenny Tian. Josh Thomas, Lloyd Langford, and Will Anderson. And by my side, a man who yesterday casually told me that he wishes he had a USB port in his body. <laughs> it's Tom Cashman. How's it going? Not too bad. I was just thinking, looking back over the last season, I've been asked a lot to blink twice if I'm not OK. Oh. <laughs> and it occurred to me, that's not a very effective way to communicate a secret message, blinking twice, because you could accidentally blink twice. Yeah. I, I think the saying should be, blink 17 times if you're not OK. <laughs> Can you do that? 17? <laughs> that was 16, because I'm having a ball. <laughs> Ironically, also what his sex robot looks like when she's malfunctioning. <laughs> All right. Yep. What task is first? We've got a bit of a weird prize task this week. Lloyd Langford was asked to bring along something he has never heard of. Everybody else has been asked to bring along something that Lloyd Langford has never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best way to get a gauge of Lloyd from Lloyd himself. Uh, Lloyd, what haven't you heard of? I was in a record shop outside of Newcastle and I selected a cassette of music and I couldn't distinguish the name of the band. Is that the band name at the top there, maybe? Or? I've looked it up. The band is a Belgian death metal group called Goat Vomit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Will, what have you brought in that Lloyd hasn't heard of? Well, uh, it's an iconic Australian television character. Uh, this character right here. Lloyd. Do you, do you know who Lloyd, that is? Lloyd, who's that? I don't know who that is. Yet. It is uh, Humphrey B. Bear, who was an iconic Australian children's TV entertainer. It was a bear that wore, a, obviously, a waist jacket but no pants and entertained children. But the good news was, never talked. We, <laughs> we, we had a lot of children's entertainers in the UK that didn't wear pants. Mm. And... <laughs> I'd stay silent too if my behaviour was like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was at least 18. <laughs> uh, Jenny, what did you bring in that Lloyd hasn't heard of? Throughout this entire series, you know, like we know about Lloyd and Anne being married and Lloyd really loves Anne. And I know that... <laughs> Lloyd cares about Anne so much, so I have brought him a manual. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK. If we take a look inside... Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, this one's about you being rugged and dreamy and how you can have that boyish charm for Anne. And, you know, if we take a look at the next page... You know? <laughs> Here's how to be a prince among men. And I, I also know that you have, like, a child, so there's a page in there about really teaching the next generation how to, you know, move forward and model your behaviour. So this is the final page. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I one thing, Jenny? Um, they're not married. <laughs> And that has really ruined Lloyd's surprise for the end of the show he told me about. <laughs> yeah, well, when I allocate points, I might have to factor that in. And what did you bring in that Lloyd hasn't heard of? I brought well. in... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, nothing nasty. Decent shorts.
Because I can't remember which episode, but earlier in the season we had a task that was bringing something that's seen the most shit. Yeah, <laughs> and you brought his terrible house shorts. His house shorts that make me physically sick. Those, those shorts that you brought in on, on an earlier episode were my house shorts, and they shouldn't be seen by anyone else. <laughs> and I have, like, outside... You know I have outside shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, what did you bring in that Lloyd hasn't heard oh, of? Oh, yeah. Have you heard of... Um, it's an Australian cartoon character. It's called Set It Straight Shirley. You wouldn't have. I made her up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is her. Okay. I, was, I was worried there for a while, uh, too. And um, <laughs> what Shirley does is she, like, um, she sets things straight. So what she's doing right now is she's pointing at just a chess piece holding a sword. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. And another one. And another one, and another one, and another one. And um, the next thing that she um, um, also, and now um, what said it straight Shirley wants to point out is just some hidden camera footage that um, one of the producers took of you saying that you like me. <laughs> just sort of check. I mean, it's not a biggie, just checking by us and but it's all, it feels sort of. Is he worrying about it or something? Oh, just. No, more just me checking on everyone. I suppose checking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, obviously, I like Josh, but I'm just, it's just funny to be patient. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that, that set it straight, Shirley. She just sets things straight. She just sets things straight. That's all it is. All right, well, this is going to be a tricky one to score, because uh, I'm guessing, Lloyd, you hadn't heard of all that. I, I, I wish I was a child in Australia. I mean, <laughs> H.B. Bumble and set it straight Shirley. <laughs> H.B. Bumble. <laughs> so I'm going to give Lloyd three points because okay. he definitely hadn't heard of goat vomit and I'm going to place all the others around them. Right. So I'm going to give Jenny one point because, unfortunately, she got him a husband book and he's not married. Yep. And then I'm going to give uh, two points to Will because he definitely hadn't heard of Humphrey B. Bear but it was just a little bit boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give four points to Josh for Set It Straight Shirley, which no one had heard of because he'd made it up, so <laughs> definitely hadn't heard of that. And also, I kind of admire the way you made a task that was supposed to be all about Lloyd, all about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but five points goes to Anne, because Lloyd definitely doesn't know what decent shorts are. Nah. <laughs> five points to Anne. OK, Tom, let's set the stakes. We're ten eps in. What is the overall scoreboard looking like? Well, Anne and Lloyd are in the lead on 149 and 145, respectively. But it's tight enough elsewhere, the series is still very much up for grabs. Ooh, OK. <laughs> How compelling. Well, what's first, Tom? You can have the day off, Taskmaster. Today, I will give myself a hiding. What's happening here? No, Tom. Tom go home, did he? Can't hack it. I don't like it when he's not here. It always means that I'm going to have to do something with a lot of exercise. OK. Uh, oh, there's two... Ta oh. Take this second task to wherever you like on the Taskmaster retreat. You must not peep at the contents of this second task. Your tie will not begin until you open it. You have seven minutes to find your spot. Your time starts now. So I don't know what the task is, but I have to find out where the best place to do the task will be. That's a fun game. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun game. Yeah. Let's see where they wandered to. Uh, who are we looking at first? Well, in the spirit of this task, I'll leave that a mystery. I mean, in a way, it doesn't really matter where I go because I don't know what the task is in the first place. Oh, I could go into the caravan because there's a seat in there and I could use a seat. I'm going to go in the bar. I feel like I might go to the balcony. Yeah. Ugh. I hope it's not a game of hide and seek where I'm supposed to be hiding. I do not know what this is going to be, so here we go. Let's find out. Avoid being papped by Tom's camera. Tom has already begun looking for you. The person who avoids being papped by Tom the longest wins. Your time starts now. 
Am I allowed to close this? Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, the fridge is too small for me to sneak into. Do these shells move? Oh! I don't know where I'm running from. This is not the best place in the world to hide, honestly, from a camera. Do I want to move? That's the question, right? Like, oh. Are you getting me? Damn it! I got you, Jenny. No! I feel despondent. Mm. There's a lot of effort to be rigged up with all this kit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then be instantly popped. I mean, it would be hard to beat how badly I have done, unless I was hiding literally in front of you. I'd like to go somewhere shady. <laughs> avoid being papped by Tom's camera. Tom has already begun looking for you. The person who avoids being papped by Tom the longest wins. Your time starts now. <laughs> That was quite fast. I was in camouflage on the ground. Oh. So you didn't really wander far, a lot of you there. I had thought back to the task at the dock when yes. Tom was there, and I was worried about moving too far away from where the initial task was set. So okay. I was just thinking, I'll just stick around here and see what happens. My theory was literally, I'll get on the balcony, because from the balcony, I'll be able to see the best of what's going on, but didn't kind of think through, that could also work in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> what was your thinking, Jenny? I just wanted a good sit. <laughs> so, Josh. Yeah. I have to admit, that was bad luck. <laughs> no, I wanted to go somewhere shady because there's a lot of people out there holding equipment, and I thought, if you're going to hold equipment, we may as well hold it in the shade, then... Uh... Well, Tom Cashman was under some very shady cloth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have maybe climbed under there. If I got under the cloth, then I probably could have held you down and stopped you being able to touch the camera, and we could have had a fun, sexy wrestle. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, no, yeah, we, we all saw it. All right, we need some scores. I papped Lloyd within 13 seconds, Jenny within 21 seconds, Will within 30 seconds, Josh within two seconds. <laughs> All right. So far, Lloyd has been bad at it, Jenny has been bad at it, Will has been bad at it, and Josh has been really bad at it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, the burning question, will somebody be good at it? It's all down to her. Here's Anne Edmonds. Well, I'm going inside. Bye-bye. Bit of behind the scenes here. I think I'll go in a makeup chair. Maybe I'll just touch up my makeup a bit. I might just join that in the middle. That looks good. Oh, what about a Marilyn mole there? That looks nice. I'll just put that a bit more. There we go. Now I'm ready for whatever it lies in here. Avoid being papped by Tom's camera. Tom has already begun looking for you. The person who avoids being papped by Tom the longest. I think I can, like, get in this cupboard here. Even if he comes in here, I don't reckon he's going to see. Now my feet. Hi, Anne. Hi, Tom. I've got a lovely photo of you. Yeah. Have you disguised yourself with a mole? I've, I've just... No, that's just some makeup I've done. I was attempting to get into this cupboard, you see. OK. But clearly I'm stuck. Yep. I've got a few more photos. Thank you. That's good. Yep, that's nice. Yep. Perfect. Looks like you did a good job, Anne. Yeah, for what? Yeah. Like, I followed an instruction. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I got into the makeup room and saw that cupboard and thought if I can get in there. If I could, had I been able to... I mean, it was full of mattresses, so it's interesting <laughs> that I still went, I can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what does that do for the scores for the task? Well, Anne managed one minute and 43 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
somehow that is by far the longest time. <laughs> that gives Josh one point, Lloyd two, Jenny three, Will four, and the winner of the task is Anne with five points. <laughs> And how are we looking for the episode scores so far? Well, the lady stuck in between the couch and the cupboard is somehow also our leader. It's Anne with ten points. OK. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> OK, Tom, let's keep the ball rolling. This is my line that says a task about pipe dreams is in the pipeline. Will be. Hi, Lloyd. Hello, Tom. Hi, Will. Ooh, a label maker. I've just got some questions for you, if that's OK. okay. Uh, what's your full name? Joshua Thomas. What's your place of birth? Uh, Melbourne. And when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I mean, I guess my mum wanted me to be... I know it's very stereotypical, but a doctor, so I just wanted to be that as well. I think I wanted to be an actor. A teacher. Um, I wanted to be a dog trainer. A professional footballer, an AFL footballer. <sighs> what are you up to? Apply for the job of actor. <laughs> Apply for the job of teacher. Apply for the job of AFL footballer. Most impressive job application wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. How do doctors apply for jobs? So they go through medical school and then they tend to, like, let loose there. But then they also do, like, that test with UMAP. you. They do UMAP. You know the three things that that tests? Comprehension, empathy and logic. I need you to get me a dog. I'll see what we can do. So, pretty straightforward. They just have to apply for the job, job that they wanted to do when they were younger. Yeah. Who should we see first? First up, it's Dr Tian. Welcome to the UMAT exam. Comprehend what that is. A big pencil. Correct. Comprehend that. Banana. How am I feeling now? <laughs> Extremely sad. Square. Square. What's next? Rhombus. That is the best UMAT exam we've ever seen in our lives. My God, I'm the top doctor at the top city hospital and I have no idea how to solve this case. I can do this. I have seen this before from all my partying years when I was in medical school. <laughs> I can tell it's a human body. And comprehension means that I know that this is a rhombus. Oh, my God. She's made the best diagnosis I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and that is my application to be a doctor. So, was that application a gritty reboot of Doogie Howser? <laughs> I'm sorry, what is that? <laughs> Ironically, it was a program where a doctor who was really young <laughs> was good at his job. Cool. Are you not going to ask about the head? <laughs> Did you not think to go and reattach it as part of your training? No, this is the way to be a doctor. <laughs> All right, who's next? Unlike other boys in rural Victoria, he had a pretty kooky and avant-garde dream. He wanted to be a professional AFL player. Here's <laughs> Will Anderson. <laughs> G'day. I'm Will Anderson and I'm here to apply for the job of AFL footballer. I'm going to be no good on the field, but I'm amazing at boasting. Tom from Taskmaster News, you lost the game today. Why was that? Didn't lose the game. Won the game. Best game we've ever played. Best game of the season. We won it. Won it by a lot. Don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Also, I'm great at distraction. Look over there! It's Tom! See? Amazing. Um, one of your teammates slept with another one of your teammates. Good right. on him. Well done. That's what we like at our club. Bonding. We're really proud as a bunch to be so close as a team. Here's what I'm also going to do. Deny. Deny, deny, deny. Um, I've, I've read accusations recently that your feet look a bit strange. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't have feet. <laughs> I'm Will Anderson, and my goal is to be an AFL footballer. Did I just see Will Anderson do a good sketch? I think that might have been just what happened. <laughs> I just saw a sketch and you made it. 
Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I was trying to get inside what could I do as an AFL footballer these days, and I took a real, I've got to say, Tom Gleeson approach <laughs> to answering questions. <laughs> it was real. I was very inspired by you in the attitude of, like, whatever came my way, just embrace it, send it back to them. And I've got to be honest with you, it feels good to be you. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's bloody great. I know, you get to say all these horrible things and call it humour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I think that was really good. Mm. It's going to be hard to beat. Who's next? He wants to be an actor so bad he learnt a very convincing Welsh accent for this show. <laughs> it's Lloyd Langford. <laughs> Hello. My name is Lloyd Langford. I am an actor of incredible range. But don't take my word for it. Here, enjoy my show reel. Here is action. Here is sadness. Johnny, you crazy son of a bitch! What have you done, Johnny? What am I gonna do now, Johnny? Who's gonna look after the kids? Here is forest-based monster. <laughs> Hiya! Here is Restless Baby. Here is Pornographic Film Star. Ma'am, your dishwasher is fixed. Oh, thank you so much, mister. How could I ever repay you? Well, I got some ideas. That was uh, just a, a small taste of the many different acting styles that I, Lloyd Langford, am capable of. If you need an actor, I'm your man. <laughs> to be honest, I just loved it because we got to hear you say here over and over again. <laughs> I mean, it was an absolute treat. Let's play a game now. Say this word, here. 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 <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is now this is now just televised racism. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. <laughs> okay, who's next? She wanted to be a teacher, so let me be the first to say good morning, Ms. Edmund. <laughs> Principal Cashman, thank you so much for seeing me. Thanks for coming in, Mrs. Thank Edmonds. Thank you, no problem. The main thing I think we're missing a lot in the education system today is discipline. Okay. I've got a little student here, that's Phil there, and he's been a very naughty boy. One of the best things I could do as a teacher would be to give you a little demonstration of how I would approach this situation. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Good, thanks. You're going to be doing Phil as well? Yep. If you could not interrupt. I'm oh, sorry. So, Phil, yesterday. Where were you, buddy? Where were you? I was up the back. No, you weren't. You weren't up the back, Phil. I was. You were. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't having a few darts, have we? No, my dad smokes. You don't even have a dad. We don't need scum like you, Phil, messing up my perfect record. Now I've got a little black stain on my record. A little Phil stain. You made a little Phil stain? So that's more or less my application. Thanks, Principal Cashman. Thanks a lot. And I'm not surprised to say that was disturbing. <laughs> I mean, it's, supposed to, it's a job application. Yes. And, I, I mean, I enjoyed it as entertainment, mm. but I would not send my children to your school. <laughs> I've met your children. You probably should. <laughs> my children watch this show. They'll be like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, anyone left? This old dog wants to learn a new trick, and that trick is teaching tricks to dogs. It's Josh Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing Josh and Phoebe. Today, for your amazement, the very good Phoebe will jump through a hoop. For our first trick, we will remove the leash from the dog, and the dog will not go back to its owner. 
So this is a job application yeah. featuring footage of you doing that job poorly. <laughs> yeah. We did spend probably 24 minutes teaching Phoebe to jump through a hoop. And she jumped through hoops not on the show, though. Right. And I, you know, what I've always said, <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is definitely the task I've been the saddest about. <laughs> I really believed I was gonna pick a dog, teach it to jump through a hoop, and we'd win a Logie. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've got some secret footage of the dog saying that it likes you. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. <laughs> no, I love that. All right, well, I need to hand out some scores. You do? I think it's pretty easy. I think Anne's on one. Her application was her doing the job badly. Uh, Josh is on two, same. Okay. I'm giving three points to Jenny, because the head fell off. <laughs> I'm going to give four points to Lloyd, because I just liked hearing him say here over and over again. <laughs> uh, but five points to Will Anderson, Whoa. because the Will Anderson sketch show finally has a good sketch. <laughs> finally! <laughs> All right, keep the task coming, Lesser Tom. Well, you might not be calling me Lesser Tom for long, because in this task I debut a brand new nickname. Where is he? Where is the little fella? Into the caravan. Hello, Tom. Hi, Will. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm well. I just did a coffee poo. How are you? Oh, thanks for telling me. Yeah. Throw something at Tom. You must announce your throw by yelling, Hey, fun boy. Hey, fun boy. Hey, fun boy. I like this already. If Tom catches your throw, you will be disqualified. If the Taskmaster deems your throw to be uncatchable, you will be disqualified. Most unco drop from Tom wins! You have until the end of today's filming. Mm. Your time starts now. Man, this is like a fun task. Chucking stuff at me? I'm not going to hurt you. OK. I promise you, I will not hurt you. <laughs> I'm not going to call you fun boy, by the way. Were you wanting it to catch on? If it didn't kill you. <laughs> All right, fun boy, who are we going to watch? <laughs> They're my joint favourite contestants for this season. It's Anne, Jenny, Josh, Lloyd and Will. Your time starts now, but I must announce my throw by yelling, hey, fun boy, hey, fun boy! Is that... Does Was that... that it? Oh, wait, did I only get one? Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> hey. Hi, Josh. Fun guy. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Anne. How are you? I'm okay. Hey, fun boy. Ah. <laughs> right. What's happening with you? Oh, okay. When the time was up, I sat up, I saw you immediately, and I took this beautiful photo. Hey, fun boy. I'm going to be back. Hey, fun boy. OK, good. Do you think that was uncatchable? It was quite aggressive. Hey, fun boy. <laughs> I think it was catchable. You think that was catchable? Fun boy. You almost got it. Mm, I got a hand on it. Hey, fun boy. Sorry, Tom. That's OK. I apologise for that. Hey, fun boy. <laughs> Brutal for me, this one. <laughs> this one had the potential for me to make some classic catches in. <laughs> and I made zero catches. <laughs> All right, well, I have to rank them, don't I, in terms of how uncoordinated they make you look? Yep. Well, I'll, I'll give Anne one point because it just flew straight past you and you didn't even react to it, so you just 
look like you missed it. Yep. And uh, same goes for Jenny. It was sort of so quick, it just sort of just flung in front of you and you just didn't even react. <laughs> and then I want to give Josh three, but I can't because he didn't say, hey, fun didn't boy. say, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so uh, Josh is disqualified. OK. Oh. Yeah. No, it's fair. Why? I, didn't I don't say get it. why people keep feeling sorry for you <laughs> when you lose points because you don't follow the rules. <laughs> uh, but I, I can't quite decide. I think that um, Lloyd and Will both made you look pretty unco beautifully. We're, we're, Do we have a side by side? Will made him look more uncle. You reckon? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, should we have a little look? Mm. Hey, fun boy. <laughs> hey, fun boy. All right. That's easy. Four points to Lloyd, five points to Will. <laughs> Tom Cashman, do you have another task for us? Yes, and I'm sad to announce this is the last proper task of the season, as this is the last time our contestants will see any action on the field. I thought we should all see some collaboration. Hey, Tom. I will. Villain. Ooh, hero. Hello, Tom. Whoa. Hi, Josh. Collaborate on a short action film. Oh, this is so exciting. The action film must have a script. A hero. A villain. Music and sound effects. Your job on the action film is written on your chair. Best contribution to the action film wins. You have 45 minutes. Your time starts now. Sound effects. Oh my God, I'm the hero. Villain. Composer. Scriptwriter. I'm really into like old kind of kung fu type films. Do you have a script? Would you like a script? That seems useful. It's an original by Lloyd Langford. No! <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even read it yet. I just know Lloyd's going to come up with something underwhelming. Jimmy and Timmy Wolf were two of the best scouts in the Shaolin Scout Troop. Did Lloyd write this? I can tell. The more I read the script, the less I sort of understand. OK. But the troop leader, Master Keith Snake, was always pushing them to the limit. And this is my case. Keith Snake disappears in a puff of smoke. I feel like I'm going to have to do a, a training montage. <laughs> Jimmy Whittles. Whittles? Yeah, like carves bits of wood. Jimmy uses his scout skills to fight these punks. <laughs> they try to kick him, but he furiously shines their shoes. <laughs> Did someone say something about a voice alterer? Ah, ah, punches, <laughs> kicks, <laughs> headbutts. <laughs> Bit of ear nibbling. Jimmy grabs a towel off the bar, wraps it around Keith's neck in a knot. Tightens it and kills him. And that's the end. What's this film called? I was thinking of calling it Unholy Fists of the Very Aggrieved Scout. <laughs> because I only have a small part, I've got to go big. OK. All right, well, um, I think let, let's get into it. I can't wait to see my vision brought to life. <laughs> OK, so I think we really want to see how this all came together. Uh, what am I looking out for? You're looking out for the best contribution to the short film. The best contribution. Mm. OK, and they're coming at it from all angles. <laughs> all right, let's have a look. This is the unholy fists of the very aggrieved scout. <laughs> Jimmy and Timmy Wolf were two of the best scouts in the Shaolin Scout Troop. But the troop leader, Master Keith Snake, was always pushing them to the limit. I'm not sure I can tie this knot, Jimmy. Well, if you can't do it, that's OK, brother. You lord dog, you have to tie the knot yourself or you will not get your knot badge. Uh, 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 uh. Do something. He will surely perish. I cannot get him first. Let the test masters as these don't. I am but a neutral observer. <laughs> Avenge me, brother, and maybe try for a badge other than knots. 
<laughs> so, what are you looking for in a partner? I am not looking for a partner. I am looking for an evil scout leader whose callous behaviour allowed my brother to die painfully. And I will avenge him. I wish you'd put that in your bio. Hey, mate. We don't like guys coming in here and misrepresenting themselves in their dating bios. What are you going to do about it? We're going to kick your puny ass. Scouts' honour prohibits violence, but these shitheads are going to get a good punch in. I have hunted for you for two decades. I have earned every scout badge but one. You killed my brother. I am here to avenge his death. I will kill you and dance on your grave and piss on your bones. I think we've found another recurring character for the Will Anderson sketch show. You know what the best thing about it is? I refuse to get out of character all day. <laughs> like, real method yeah. would only talk to the crew in that accent that would just go through. It was a good fun day. <laughs> yeah, and I've got to pick the most outstanding contribution, but I feel like I didn't see enough of Anne and Josh because they're a bit more behind the scenes. Totally. So let's have a peek behind the scenes and maybe see their work. OK. Jimmy and Timmy Wolf were two of the best scouts in the Shaolin Scout Troop. Boing. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they're getting us that. I will kill you and dance on your grave and piss on your bones. It's mostly punching noises. <laughs> oh no, that's not too much. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Terrible movie written by Lloyd. 
Well, I guess I should come up with some scores. Um, so I'm going to give one point to Lloyd because the script was... <laughs> Lloyd, everyone else in the production complained about it. <laughs> so one point to Lloyd. I'm giving two points for Will Anderson's recurring character that's coming up in his brand new sketch show. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving three points to Jenny for a wonderful performance. <laughs> Held the whole thing together. Uh, four points to Anne Edmonds for the original score. All that music was done by Anne. Yeah. And five points for the beautiful sound effects of Josh Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have one last look at those episode scores before we wrap this thing up. Well, there's two points in it at the front, but Will has Anne slightly beaten with his score of 18 points for the episode. Yeah. All right, contestants, I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. So get up on that stage for one last live task. <laughs> What's going on here, Lesser Tom? Contestants, please turn around. Mmm. <sighs> oh. oh. Why does that... Why are you all making noises like you know? You don't know? Please read the task. I don't know. Build a marshmallow towel using the remaining marshmallows in the jar you've had in your green room since the start of the studio record. <laughs> Paulus Tower wins. You have three minutes. <laughs> Lloyd! Your time starts on Tom's whistle. <laughs> Did you like the marshmallows, Will? <laughs> I was going to take the rest home with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost did that before we recorded this. <laughs> Lloyd, would you like to explain what's happened here? <laughs> I spoke to the director of the series and I said, I've got this giant jar of marshmallows in my room. I would like to replace them with a jar of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> How long we got? Three, Three minutes. minutes. From. <laughs> Did you ask for any specific fruit, Lloyd? All I can see here is mandarin. <laughs> Two minutes left. <laughs> 90 seconds. Just pouring them out. I really thought it would um, balance. 30 oh, seconds Jesus. left. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, thank you. 10 what? seconds. How even? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! It's so Oh, wow, look at Lloyd's. Wow. For all those kids watching at home, fruit is good for you. <laughs> we got some winners to get to, Lesser Tom, so how do the scores look? The lowest height was Anne with 10.2 mm. centimetres. Josh got to 11.9 centimetres. Will got 13.6. Jenny stacked 15.5, but on his healthy high horse, Lloyd got 33.5 centimetres. <laughs> <laughs> That means, for this episode, the winner is Will, with a total of 21 oh. points. Congratulations, Will. Go and get your valuable stuff that holds no value to Lloyd. So what have we learned from this episode? Hey, fun boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for winning it. Give him a big hand. <laughs> All right, we made it to the end. Some doubted us even more than Will's parents doubted him. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but we did it. We survived, <laughs> even after all the throwing, catching, hiding and shit-shoveling that was season two. I'm proud to say we have a winner. So, Lesser Tom, who is that winner? In a commendable fifth place on 138 points, it's Josh Thomas. 
in a slightly more commendable fourth place on 142 points. It's Jenny Tian. Yes. <laughs> then up in third on 154 points, Will Anderson. Thank you. <laughs> but overall, the winner is love, because no joke on 161 points, a tie between oh. Anne and Lloyd. Oh. This means we have a first on Taskmaster Australia. We have a season tie. No. Oh. What does it mean? Yes, what happens? We have a season tie breaker. Oh. So I'm going to give you both a pen and paper and then I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to have five seconds to write your answer to the question on your piece of paper and we're going to see who gets mm, the closest. I can't write. <laughs> oh, it's big. Oh. This is for the season? One question for the season? That's right. I was expecting a giant piece of paper. <laughs> How much does the Taskmaster trophy weigh? Please write down your answers. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You finished? <laughs> <laughs> Please hold up your answers. What does yours say, Lloyd? 3.6 kilograms. What does yours say, Anne? Seven kilograms. <laughs> Let's look at the tape. No. <laughs> 1.621 1 kilograms. Oh. Which means Lloyd is the winner. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well done, <mate. laughs> Congratulations. You win my head. <laughs> All right, truly ridiculous. Congratulations to Lloyd. Good night! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.